If you're ready to change out your dinky mailbox for a mailbox that goes better with your home and give you more curb appeal, then let my handy dandy husband teach you just how to design and build yours. Get ready. So let's get started. And yes, my wife does have faith in me that I am going to show you exactly how to build this mailbox from the beginning to the end, step by step, and show you exactly how easy it is to build it from the bottom to the top. The first thing you do is you figure out exactly where you want to put your mailbox. You want to try to keep it about a foot or so back past the pavement, that way you're not too close. And then you want to dig your footer out. And you want to make the base of it at least six inches wider on both sides of your bottom column, no matter what size it's going to be. That way you have a good solid foundation. In this case, I only dug it about 15 inches deep and hit solid ground. And I think it was from the base of the road. You don't need to get through the, that solid part because it'll be nice and solid for you. Once you get the concrete all mixed up for the footer, you'll get it all leveled out and then put in some rebar in the ground or into the concrete to reinforce your first two rows of block. Once we're going to put electric down to the mailbox, we have to dig a ditch and the simplest and easy way to do it is take a square headed shovel and dig dig a little channel down each side and we have most of it already done then we'll cut off the ends and peel up the top of it like this very easy So after you get done the ditch, you want to run the pipe in the ditch that you dug, and of course run the run the wire through it. And once you have the pipe and the wire done, then what I'm doing is I'm going to dig a little channel in this ditch for the pipe to lay down in, and then I'm going to take the sod and lay back over top. Now we'll have the sod put back as you can see how nice and neat and clean that looks. And then at the, this is at the opposite end where we're going to connect and wire it right into the house. And at this end we have the, the conduit up through the center. Now if I, this is one thing if I had to do it over I would have run the, con or the conduit right through the center of the concrete when it was still wet and run it up through the center. But that's just hindsight. You don't always think of these things at the beginning. Okay, Levi is mixing up two more bags of sidecrete. And let me explain a little bit what went on earlier today. I was able to put three blocks layers of blocks and how I did that was I cemented them together as you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two-tiered mailbox and what Levi's getting ready to do right now is we're going to fill out the first two layers of block with concrete to reinforce it. I'm going to fill up these cinder blocks with the concrete. 
And what that does is that just gives it more reinforcement. As you can see in there, there's rebar that I had in there from the concrete whenever I did the floor. And then whenever I get done, get this all full, then I'm gonna fix some more rebar. Hold the half of the block up with concrete. And then what I like to do is use the rebar and try to work the, work the concrete up and down to get like the air bubbles out. Kind of it doesn't have to be like this, but I think it just does a better job. Like Steve Jobs said one time, you gotta care what it looks like inside your product, even where people can't see. That's the, that's the quality that you wanna see. So now that you have that in there whole way, then what I'll do is I'll put this this bar right right there. Grab a couple more. So we're gonna do what I want to do is put one in each corner. Put one in that corner. And we will put one in that corner. Now you can see I'm putting on the fourth or the third block. Above the bottom. So things are coming along pretty good. This will be my last layer before I put the mailbox insert in. This is the cement that I use to mix up for the mortar and to put the laminate on, the stone veneer. It's the spec mix masonry cement and sand and it's the S type. It already has all the sand and everything in it. All you gotta do is mix water with it. We're concrete almost mixed up now. And we mix it up in such a way that it looks like peanut butter is how it was explained to me. And then we'll take some, take this glue and pour it in according to the manufacturer and I'm not sure exactly how much to put it I'll put it in probably about a cup for that little bit of of mortar what this does is this bonds it and the way it was explained to me you don't need to use the wire mesh if you use this glue. It's like the glue, I'm with glue. And of course you can see that it's too runny now, so I'm gonna have to add in some more, more mix. A spray bottle that's filled up with water and, and pumped up to get pressure. So what we'll wanna do is we wanna spray down the block. Because when you put the mortar on here, we don't want the block sucking the moisture out of it. You'll take any trowel to spread on this compound and then you'll take a different trowel that has notches in the side and just kind of put grooves in the cement which will help on the veneer stone. I got the two rows done at the bottom and then three rows of block with the bonding agent on there. We need to measure the width of this last block that we put on. And when you order your mailbox insert, which we recommend going with the cast aluminum, that way you don't have to worry about 10, 15, 20 years down the road that you have to re do the insert because the thin cheap one like this one here I could have used it and but it's it's like steel so it won't hold up inside the block because of the moisture and stuff so what we did is we found out that it's ten and a half inches so we we end up instead of cutting this block because I had extra blocks we went ahead and got a six inch block and put that in here and installed that top layer and 
the height is ten and a half, so the block, regular cinder block, is only six and a half, or I'm sorry, eight and a half inches tall. So I had to buy a solid cap on top. That way we had roughly two inches above the mailbox that I'll be mortaring in whenever that comes, which should be here on Friday. Let's, and from the bottom of your mailbox, it should be between 41 and 46 inches from the ground, from the curb. Actually, this mailbox was installed about two inches low. So that's why we end up bringing this up to 41 inches is what I wanted to put it. So you have to keep that in mind whenever you're installing the block. But if you go with five block high, you almost be perfect height. So in part two, my handy dandy husband is gonna show you just how to finish your mailbox by hanging the flagstone veneer, installing the mailbox insert, adding the glass block, hooking up your electricity, and placing your top cap to finish your project.